Hi everyone and welcome back to Insight. So as a person who sometimes makes videos, there are occasions when I need to use a teleprompter. Now a teleprompter is a great tool. It allows you to organize your thoughts and structure your presentation in a succinct way. But the problem with using a teleprompter, or perhaps I should say with the software used to display the text on a teleprompter is that it is very difficult to control the speed at which the text scrolls. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can remotely control the device used to display text on a teleprompter. By remotely controlling the speed of the text, you will be able to sound more natural and use the teleprompter in a way that it's meant to be used. So if you'd like to see how this is done, stay tuned and I'll be right back. So welcome back. So I'm going to show you three ways to control teleprompter software remotely. Now the software that I use for my teleprompter is called Parrot Teleprompter. This is an excellent and free piece of software that is available for the Android and for the iOS. On the Android side, you can download it from the Google Play Store. Let me just say that even though in this video I'm focusing on how to control the Parrot Teleprompter app remotely, the software that I'm going to be using has other applications. For example, if you'd like to use a device as a media player, the software that I will be showing you can be used to remotely control the media player. So there are a broad number of uses for controlling your device remotely. In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways. Two will require that you download and install an app on your devices. The third method, while not as flexible, will allow you to control your teleprompter software using a simple USB keyboard. In any event, without further ado, let me show you the first way you can control your device. All right, so the first app uh, I'm gonna show you is uh, called Tablet Remote. It's really a great little app. Unfortunately, it's not available directly on the Google Play Store. You have to download it off the internet. Uh, I found it on a website called Pure APK or APK Pure, and um, it's working just fine. So, if you want to try getting it from there, uh, that's the place I would recommend. I will post the link to the site down below. So the first thing that you need to decide with Tablet Remote is um, which app or which device you're going to use as the controlling device and which device you're going to use as the receiving device. So for my purposes, I'm going to use this device as the controlling device and this one as the receiving device. So the first thing that you'll need to do before you do anything with the app is um, connect both devices together via Bluetooth. So I would do this even before installing a tablet remote. I would just connect the two devices using uh, Bluetooth, you'd have, you have to go to the Bluetooth section and basically make your device discoverable and then link the two devices together. So once the two devices are linked together using Bluetooth, you can open Tablet Remote on both devices. So since I'm going to be using this Android device as the controller, I am going to have to set up the keyboard option on this device so that it'll, it'll work. Uh, so Tablet Remote uses its own keyboard option and you have to tell it to use it. So the way you do this is by going to Setup and essentially checking these two boxes. So click on here and then 
choose the tablet remote input right here and say OK and then go to the other checkbox and um, choose the tablet remote uh, input here. So now that the two checkboxes are set up you can go back to the main main menu, menu and um, essentially make a connection between the two uh, tablets. So the way you do this is by clicking on the connection option here and since I have already connected these two tablets via Bluetooth, the tablet here, um, the Moto Play tablet is an option which I'm going to click and the two devices are now going to be connected. Now one thing I need to tell you here is that there are two options here for scanning uh, for devices and you can use this if your device, if this device that you want to connect to is somehow not available to you, just um, scan devices by clicking this option here and hopefully this device will show up as a device that you can connect to. But I don't need to do that since I've already connected the two devices and they seem to be working. So at this point uh, what I need to do is go back to the main menu and click on the remote option here. It's a little remote icon. So I click on that and lo and behold uh, up comes a remote type interface. So at this point I'll just minimize the tablet remote on this device and I'll go to my the app, the app that I want to control. In this case it's going to be Parrot Teleprompter because I'm using this to control uh, the text on a teleprompter and I'll find a random script. I'm going to just go to teleprompter script 1 and when I hit this enter button lo and behold this device controls this device and basically what you can do is uh, just hold this in hand and you can put this on your teleprompter and you can start and stop the text as you wish which will make it seem as if you are reading in a much more natural way because you can control the speed at which this thing is going. You can also use these up and down arrows to uh, move a little more quickly if you want or move to a different part of the text and this particular app I think works really well. My only complaint with it is that the enter button here is very small. So if you are not looking it's possible to to miss the enter button and just go somewhere else by mistake and then it can mess you up. So I would say that this is probably the biggest fault with this app if you are using it as an app to control a teleprompter. However, if you're using it as an app to control, let's say, a media device, you want to use your second Android device as a media device, then this is simply a remote control and um, it'll work uh, very well. But even as a tele teleprompter remote, it can work just fine. You need to practice in order to get it perfected. The thing I like about this app is that it uses Bluetooth and I haven't really found another app that uses Bluetooth anywhere. But if you don't want to use Bluetooth, you can also use Wi-Fi. So it gives you the option of both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and uh, so it's it's fantastic that way. Um, now you do have to sideload it because it's not available 
directly on the Google Play Store. But if you're comfortable with that, I, I would say this is a great option to go with. All right, so let's go on to the second option. All right, so the second way is with another app called Team Viewer. Team Viewer works similarly to Tablet Remote in that one device controls another device. The big difference between Team Viewer and Tablet Remote is that Team Viewer only uses Wi Fi. There is no Bluetooth option. Like Tablet Remote, you have to make a decision as to which device is going to be the controlling device and which device is going to be the receiving device. So once again, I'm going to make this the controlling device and this the receiving device. So you go on the receiving device and you open up a support program called Quick Support, which is also made by Team Viewer. Quick Support will provide you with an ID that you will have to enter in Team Viewer. So once Team Viewer opens up, you'll be given an option to enter the partner ID. The partner ID is the ID that you find here. So we'll enter that. And then we will say remote control and it will connect to this device. Here you'll need to say that you will allow the control and now this device is mirrored on this device. So at this point I can go to any app and open it up. So I'm going to go to Parrot Teleprompter again and I'm going to open it up. I'll find the script that I want to use on my teleprompter and now I can basically control the script by simply touching the screen on my controlling device. This way I can talk more naturally and I can control the speed of the text when I'm reading from a teleprompter. You can also scroll back and forth which is very important and is very helpful. So again, this is a very good program. It works really well. It's completely free and it's very, very easy to set up. The only downside I would say is that if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can't use it. With tablet remote, you can use it anywhere. You don't need Wi-Fi. So that's very, very helpful if you are restricted to Bluetooth only. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the third way to control your device remotely. All right, so the final method that I wanna share with you for controlling your Android device remotely is um, a little different from the previous two methods. This method will not allow you to control a media center or anything like that. It's a much more manual method, but it does work really well if your only intent is to control the text on a teleprompter. So basically for this method, you would be using a USB keyboard. Now, um, this works really well. I used this method um, for a very long time. Uh, in this case, you would use the space bar here as a foot pedal. And whenever you hit the space bar with your foot, the text on the teleprompter would start and stop. So let me just uh, show you how this would work. All right, so basically what I've got here is an ordinary USB keyboard and it has to be a USB keyboard. You can't use 
uh, any other type of keyboard. It has to be USB. The other thing that you will need to make this work is this adapter, which is known as uh, an OTG cable. So an OTG cable is also known as an on-the-go cable and it's a special kind of adapter that allows communication between one device and another. In this case it allows communi communication between the keyboard and the, the tablet or the, the phone. Uh, so you've got to be very careful when you buy this this is available on Amazon. It's available in your local computer store. Uh, it's very inexpensive. You can get it for five, six, seven dollars. The only thing you have to be careful about is not to get an extension or a converter from a from one USB to another USB. It has to be a OTG adapter because anything else will not work. It has to have the communication pathways built in that will allow this device to communicate with this device. So once you get the uh, OTG cable you might also want to consider getting a extension cable because essentially you're going to have to put this keyboard on the floor and the cable has to be a certain length to make it possible for you to control the teleprompter. So once you've got all the stuff that you need, basically what you need to do is hook the OTG cable to the USB cable that's connected to the keyboard and then you plug the OTG cable to your phone. You turn on the teleprompter software like so you open a script and then you use this spacebar as a pedal to start and stop the text. And this is really very, um, very inexpensive and it works very well. Uh, it's a great way to control the text on your teleprompter software uh, in, a, in a way that's not going to break the bank. So there you have it. Three ways to control your Android device remotely. So if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll get information about upcoming videos. Until next time, Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.